Today our topic is first week of development of human embryo. First week starts with fertilization of egg by sperm forming the first cell zygote. And then next event is cleavage. Cleavage is number of mitotic divisions from which a zygote passes and it increases in the numbers and this is how a zygote passes from two cell stage to end cell stage which is merula. After merula blastula stage is achieved and guys when zygote is passing from these stages at the same time it is moving from uterine horn towards the uterus for implantation. So implantation is also done in the first week of development. So all these events are taking place in the uterus. As I mentioned earlier, first week starts with fertilization and ends with implantation of embryo. So once the fertilization is done, the very next step is cleavage, in which embryo uh, rapidly undergoes a series of moderate divisions. And it results in an increase the numbers of cells. And this whole process is completed in three days. By the uh, day four, the embryo forms a morula. What is morula? It's a ball containing 16 cells. And it's very compacted forms of cell. Three days after fertilization, the morula enters the uterus and uterine fluid passes through the zona pellucida. Sona pellucida is outer covering of the zygote. It surrounds the zygote. It is very protective layer. So as your transplant passes through the zona pellucida, it forms a blastocyst cavity. And now the developing human is called blastocyst. So guys, as the amount of fluid in the blastocyst cavity increases, the cells become separated in two parts. Inner cell mass and the outer cell mass. So inner uh, cell mass are called embryoblasts which give rise to embryo and uh, outer flattened cells are called trophoblasts and these cells eventually give rise to embryonic part of placenta. So by the sixth day of development, implantation starts. Now the trophoblast attaches to the endometrial epithelium and it starts implantation. So what's the next step? Next, the differentiation of trophoblast starts. Now the attached region of the trophoblast differentiates into two layers, cytotrophoblast, inner cellular layer, and the syncytial trophoblast, which is external layer and it invades the endometrial epithelium and connective tissue by the end of seventh day. So guys, by the end of the first week, a layer of cubital cell known as hypoblast is formed. And the first week of development ends here.